Here we are, and I keep forgetting to do these reviews on these cassette tapes every night. And man, it's not really a big deal, as long as I get around to them, I guess. This one was the Star Trek The Last Years. Leonard Nimoy and James Doohan enhanced with sound effects in the original score and and in original score. Um, I'll read the back. The USS Enterprise, five year missions over. J Captain James T. Kirk faces a future of death duty as a Starfleet Admiral. We all know that didn't work out. And Spock returns to the planet Vulcan as a stranger in his homeland. But just as the seasoned members of the Enterprise crew go their separate ways, an extraordinary challenge arises. An awesome power is on its way to the Romulan Empire in Kirk. Spock and McCoy are reunited to overcome the threat in the most difficult mo mission yet. I gotta say, like I said before, all these original ones are actually really good. Um, the Next Generation's one, uh, the Next Generation audio cassette books are good too, but not if Gakes McFadden is, um, is the, um, the narrator. And luckily, the only one I've listened to so far with her in it was, um, Star Trek First Contact. The rest of them she never did. I guess maybe they decided they didn't like her. She sounded terrible. When she did First Contact, I was like, what the hell's going on? She doesn't have that deep, dark voice. Or something like with a book with the Borg. I mean, the, you know, when you think of the Borg invading, trying to invade Earth, or try to stop Zephyr and Cochrane, you, you would think of it as a Doc type of thing, and she didn't give off that vibe. She's great as Dr. Beverly Crusher, but that's about it. Alright, well, that's going off topic. One more thing, 180 minutes for this on two cassettes, double-sided, about 45 minutes on each side. Um, 1495 in the U.S., 1590 in Canada. This was 1989. This goes back over 33 years ago, more like 35. That is just wait. 1899, 2009, 2019. That's yes, 35 years or whatever it is. That's a long time. And you know, um, all I gotta say is is that that's just insane. It really is. Um, and they had a little. It didn't really have any trouble playing either. I think it's just my cassette play is a piece of junk. <laughs> but some of them have problems. Like you notice, sometimes the volume will go slightly down and then it'll go up. That's usually the cassette. But when the whole thing doesn't function and then it works on another player, that means the cassette play is busted. Enough with this now. Bye bye.